Hi guys, Saul here from MyPersonalFootballCoach.com and head coach of Rebel FC. Now today I'm going to give you the player ratings for all the Rebel FC boys after our great win against Coral Bookmakers this last week. Here we go. So here we go. So as you see in the background this week we played like a 4-3-3. So we're going to work our way through the team, giving you the player ratings and a little bit of feedback on each player. A little bit of my opinion on what they did well, maybe what they can do better. So starting at the back with our keeper making his debut, Kalen. Excellent performance, I thought. Really solid throughout. Pulled out some saves when he had to. Wasn't necessarily very busy, but when he had to be on call, he was. So very impressive him as a first, um, a first performance there. Uh, if I was looking forward for him, I'd say I want to try and to play through the defenders a little bit more. Uh, and that means these guys are going to have to give him a little bit of help. But apart from that, very happy with his performance. So I'm going to give him an 8. An 8 out of 10. Next, uh, we've got Rambo starting off at the right back. Switch to left back through it. Good, solid performance. Uh, I think going forward, I'd like to see him, well, he has to get forward a lot more. Very solid in the tackle. Very strong. Uh, but uh, Lisa bring a bit more to the table and he did to be fair when he went on to the left left back role he started to get up and down a little bit pitch a little bit more with those little overlapping runs so much much good performance for Rambo but still has to do better because there's a lot of competition for places so I'm going to give him a very good solid 7 out of 10. Next up in the middle uh, we've got Reeves who for me was uh, one of the top performers the other night really good really solid really strong composed in possession uh, really impressed how he played. I'm going to give him a very good 8 out of 10. Next to him is Casey. Casey Barker. I'd give Casey was phenomenal in my opinion. Very solid at the back. Then moved into the middle of the park playing like a CDM. Really good. Excellent distribution. Really impressed with him. And he's got a hat trick as well. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Fantastic. Excellent performance. Next up, our skipper. Uh, Cal Freezy. Cal was fantastic seeing he's been out injured for a long time uh, very solid in defence getting up on the pitch as well and very good in the air as well which I was uh, first time I've seen that so really good with Cal uh, moving forward trying to maybe get up to the pitch even a little bit more uh, to get involved in those attacks but I'm going to give him a very good 8 out of 10. Next up uh, another debut boy Lionel playing CDM uh, his first game, very impressed with him, very impressed with what I saw, really strong, uh, good distribution, nice to get forward, a little bit maybe uh, indisciplined sometimes, coming out of his position when I didn't want him to, but that's alright, it's the first game and the nature of the game as well, because we're so on top, also needs to work on his performance, so and, and on his fitness, sorry, so when he gets his fitness sharp, I think he could be one of the top players in the team, really impressed with him, so I'm going to give him a solid 7 out of 10, but that, you know, once that comes, that's going to go definitely up because I was very impressed with that. Uh, next up is Wheels. So Andrew, really like, like the way he plays this young man. It also needs to work on his fitness, but I like the way he's on the ball. I like the way he moves the ball. I like the way he can uh, beat players 1v1. He's got quick feet. Uh, so I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10. Very good 8 out of 10. Uh, but needs to work on that fitness as well because you can tell that drops. So... Moving forward, like I said, there's a lot of competition for places. He needs to get that fitness up because he could be one of the real game changers in the team. Uh, next up, our 10, Sava. Now, if I was going to rate him on the first 30 minutes, I'd probably give him a nine, 8 or 9 out of 10 But because he was phenomenal, doing everything a 10 should do. Getting on the ball, looking to turn, playing forwards, moving it quick, knowing when to dribble. And then, because of the nature of the game, I think he got a little bit maybe try to do a little bit too much sometimes and that's just the nature of the game so that would be my criticism for him is that he was the ideal 10 in the beginning then got a little bit sloppy maybe trying a bit too much a bit too much showboating in the end so I'm going to give him a solid 7 but for me he's a natural number 10 he's a natural number 10 and there's going to be big things coming from him so I can see uh, I can see definite uh, big exciting things coming from Sava. so 7 out of 10 not bad still a bit of work to do uh, next up Move into our wide players. So we've got Jamie uh, out wide. Fantastic in the 1v1. Loads of techers, loads of nutmegs, little flip flats. Great to watch. If I was going to be uh, thinking about how we can even get even better, I'd say a little bit more. Uh, when you see him score more goals, we see him create more goals for more crosses, more split passes getting into the box. But very entertaining to watch. Very good player, and interesting to see when he comes up against uh, some stronger fullbacks how he tries to deal with those situations. So, I'm going to give him a solid 8 out of 10. He's still a little bit to do, but very, very good. 
Uh, next up, Iman um, out wide. Uh, some great moments. Played some various positions, so I challenged him to do really well. Um, so I was going to challenge him to do more, so I wouldn't. I want to see a little bit more end product in his play. So dominating one v one a bit more. Can he get some crosses in the box? Uh, score some goals. Have some great opportunities. So I'm going to give him a solid seven. Uh, and but you know, as a good seven, but there's more to do. All right. So Iman seven out of ten. Good job. But still a little bit of work to do. Uh, last but not least of our starting 11 is Rory, our striker, our big number nine. Uh, was a goal machine, just uh, absolutely phenomenal. Big striker, put, his, put himself about a bit, uh, used his physicality well uh, with a bit of class on the ball as well. So very impressed with him. Also challenged him a bit and paid him at the back as well. Uh, thinking where he can, different other places he can play on the pitch where he did well. So I'm going to give him a very good nine out of ten as well for all those goals. So nine out of ten. For Rory. Moving on to our bench, our subs bench full of superstars. First up, um, I'm going to talk about Mike, who was uh, very solid, worked his um, proverbial off, and even got a goal. So, um, for that excellent goal and that work rate, I'm going to give him a very solid 8 out of 10. So, well done, Mike, because uh, he got a heart like a lion. Well done. Uh, next up, Ali. Ali came on, played the 10. If, you, if, if I'm honest, it looks Ali's probably got one of the best footballing brains in that whole team. Uh, he just unfortunately hasn't got the body at the moment because he's had a bit of an injury problem. But some of the passes he was playing, one touch and his vision is fantastic. If he can get his, um, his fitness up, he, he can really challenge that in that area for a first team start. So well done, Ali. Good effort. I'm going to give you a solid 8 out of 10. Good job. Next up, Joel. Uh, good solid performance when he came on played at the back, looked strong, much more composed, big improvement from the last game. Uh, unfortunately he seemed to uh, pull a rib or crack a rib or something in a strange movement so he had to come off. So unfortunately that he gets a 7 out of 10, a solid 7 out of 10 but he looked much better so definitely, uh, definitely impressed with that uh, short performance from him. Next up is um, Rayan who came on and played several positions, played out right on the right, played right back and also up, up front. Also scored a goal up front, so great goal, great effort. One um, area maybe to look for improvement next time if he is playing out wide was getting a bit pulled out wide on the wrong side of the pitch. We talked about him maybe getting tucking in a little bit and helping those defenders, but listen, he's not used to playing that position, so not bad. So I'm gonna give him a very good, respectable, excellent work rate of seven out of 10. Last but not least, Reese, whose uh, his jets are unbelievable. It's like he's got a turbo boost on his back. Came on and was just rocketing up and down the pitch. Really impressed. Played right wing, played right back. I'm going to give him an excellent eight out of ten because he really was a, a really big impact player when he came on. Looking to how can he improve? I'd say I want to see him get forward even more. So knowing when and where to join in with attack. So because he's got such a phenomenal pace. When the ball's being switched play, for instance, I think he's got to recognise that and get involved in the attack a little bit quicker and get himself up the pitch a bit quick. Okay, last but not least, so man of the match, M-O-N, for great performance. So two candidates, Rory and Casey, both got 9 out of 10. This week I'm going to give it to Casey, simply because his uh, quality in those two different areas of the pitch and his hat-trick, of course, all right? So well done, Case, man of the match performance. There you go, guys. There's your ratings. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a great game. Very happy from my point of view. Looking forward to our next game and our next few weeks of training. See you soon.